that's much better. Breaker fall, <laughs> finally, for Jody Hay. Hey, Jody Hay. Remember last time I said that? Uh, Germ Kovar, Alan Dixon, and Ginger Penguin. Wore my penguin jacket for you, Ginger Penguin. Okay, uh, this one is surprisingly very simple. Another one, it's getting old to say, Pearl Jam songs I like more now that I know how to play them. For the intro, you're going to play E. And then you're going to move that shape up to the 4th and 5th frets. That makes it a G. It's like doing your bar chord, right, but without the bar. And then up two more frets makes it an A. That's it. and then the cool stone thing comes in. This is like one of the cooler of stone things. And it just goes throughout the verse over the chords um, or under the chords, either way. But what it is, is um, open E, A2, back to E in that rhythm. And then we're gonna do open D, two open, two open, back to A2, open E3, E2, Bend wiggle, so. But I swear I hear another syllable in there, and uh, definitely if you listen to the show box one, and if you listen really close in the headphones, this is doubled, there's a higher octave, and I'm gonna show you that, but the lower octave I think has uh, another syllable, and it is an open A after the first A too, so it'll be all. It's kind of a tongue twister. But the double would be up here, so yeah, do, do the extra syllable or don't, whichever one you find more fun. I do not think the extra syllable is in the double, and they don't do the double live. So yeah, um, you can do E string 12th fret. It's the exact same thing as down here, but open becomes 12, and 2 becomes 14, and 3 becomes 15, of course. So you'd do 12, 14, 12. Then to D 12, and 14. A 14, 12, E 15. Wiggle on uh, 14 there, or you could make it fun and leave the uh, E string open. It's it's hard to tell. They're mixed really. They're meshed really well together. So you could do open E. That would be fun. Yeah, but that's Stones part, which goes all the way through uh, the the verse chords, and the verse chords are just. This is kind of curious um, because the very first time it's just and you just hang on the E. But the next three times you do the, the aforementioned chords. Uh, she burned. She A. It's no one's concern. Just like the intro. And Mike's job is basically just to make noise. You know? And then go. Bend, bend that E string, but he's he's E minor pentatonicing it the whole time um, and making noise. But we'll talk about more about that in just a sec. Might as well just discuss that now. Your E minor pentatonic is I feel like we've done this 93 times in the last 92 videos. It is a 12, 15, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 15, 12, 15. 12, 15. But Mike does one of the moves I really like in this song. If you grab 12 on G and B, and then the B string's supposed to be 15, right? But let's make it 14 instead, and also the G string 14. It's the same thing from this. I keep, this is my example. Right? Uh, when the B string's a fret lower than it usually belongs, and he goes. You recognize that from the song. Yeah, so 12, 12. 14, 12, bend 14s, and end up back on 12. 
for one example. But do do whatever you know suits your druthers there because it's different uh, absolutely every single time they play it. He's E minor pentatonicing and everything you can do on twelve fifteen you can do on open three just like the stone riff open three open two open two open two open three open three just do whatever you like there. It changes when he starts saying break or fall and it switches to E. And instead of uh, G with our E shape on the fourth and fifth frets, we're just gonna go ahead and do the thickest four strings from our root from our bar chord shape F sharp. So two, four, four, three, but no no high notes. So it'll be E, F sharp, A. That's the chorus, I suppose. And that's it. That brings us to the outro solo. You know, the guitars do their chords. Je Jeff throws in a, an F sharp note there. You can add that if you like. It becomes like Grievance, right? That's all, that's all I remember <laughs> at this moment. But anyways, you get E, little F sharp note, G, A, and even Stone joins in with the E. fashion in the whole song when whenever Mike I was watching live versions uh, wanted to play the chords he he'd just play the regular chords sometimes that's totally cool too but yeah whole solo is it's just the chords and Mike starts out with this cool thing G string ninth fret B string 12th fret strum all four thin strings then the B12 becomes the B10 and then, and then he just kind of starts. Doing his E minor thing. So, break or fall. Now we've done it. And that, that's it. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for the great request. Those were all kind of old Ginger Penguin. I haven't talked to you in a long time. How are you doing, sir? And that is it. I'll see you next time with more stuff. I hope that was helpful. Goodbye.